Well, after a nationwide recall of the EpiPen, some families said they've just been waiting too long for a replacement. One local mom decided to call for action and told the I team's Ryan Kath about her experience. At first glance, Nolan Maxwell is your typical active 10 year old. Can I have some pineapple? But like a growing number of kids, Nolan has to be extra careful about what he eats. The fourth grader has a life threatening allergy to peanuts and tree nuts. I carry them in my coat and in my backpack pocket. Which is why a set of EpiPins is never far away. You pretty much never forget those. No, I can't. It's my life. So when Mylan recently announced a worldwide recall of its device. My initial reaction was panic. Nolan's mom quickly checked the website. Right here in the, in the black, it gives you the lot number. And looked to see if any of Nolan's medicine could be defective. It turned out the set he keeps at school needed to be replaced. So she called the number to get a voucher. They told me the whole time was 97 minutes, I believe. Um, and it was longer than that. When Melissa finally talked to a person, the call center said it would get back to her at a later date. At that point, she said, well, it's not a problem. She said the medicine that's in there is still fine. You might just have to push harder to get it out. Melissa demanded to speak with a supervisor who added this reassurance. I don't know what your circumstances are, but emergency medical services should be available in your area if there's truly an emergency. And that just makes me absolutely livid. It's, it's not right. It's On Facebook, a mom's food allergy group shared similar stories. Another woman said, I left my number twice last week, still haven't received a call. I'm just appalled at how poorly they're handling it and it's like they don't even care about their reputation. Melissa contacted the I team's call for action and quickly heard from a Milan representative who apologized and made sure she had her voucher. A spokeswoman later told us we are aware that callers have experienced extended wait times and sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. Adding, we've increased staff managing calls and hold times now average less than 10 seconds. Melissa says Nolan is fortunate enough to have several sets of EpiPens, but worries about families who can only afford one. It's absolutely critical that families that need them have access to them immediately. I mean, it's life-saving medication. If you still need to check your set of EpiPens to see if they're affected by the recall, we've put the instructions on our website. Mylan says to make sure to get your replacement first before sending the recalled ones back. For Call for Action, Ryan Kath, WBZ News.